This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. So I'm here at an elementary school with a menagerie of cool critters. I'm here to educate cool kids on how awesome reptiles are with guys like Tusk here, my ivory ball python. I get so excited to be around the kids and just see them kind of get excited about the animals. Oftentimes there's kids that are a little afraid. By the end of the presentation, they're always just incredibly interested in the animals. I really encourage you guys to go out there and do these. And in this show, I'm gonna try to give you an example of what the best practices are and how you can do it, even if you just have one or two snakes. My name is Brian Bartrett. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This week, I'm at an elementary school with a group of sixth graders teaching them how cool animals are. You're watching Snake Bites. The first thing that's really important is pick a group of animals that really work for your educational show. Even if you only have one or two pet snakes, as long as they're really awesome looking, it's enough to get kids interested in the subject. Now that was actually why they were called milk snake. And the reason was is way back in the day, farmers used to think that these milk snakes would climb up and attach to the udder of cows and suck the milk out. So the farmers were always upset that they were stealing their milk. The truth is it's a complete wives no snakes drink milk whatsoever, okay? But that's how these guys got their name. It was just literally an urban legend. And, and does anyone have an idea why people think they're slimy? Go ahead, what do you think? Um, because... <laughs> well, what it is, guys, is that they kind of look shiny, right? And that's the way that their scales and all that pigment comes out. So they have this shiny texture to them. And a lot of people think that, that they're, they're slimy, but the truth is they're almost like a leathery feel. <laughs> Snakes, oftentimes people think that they're really mean. The truth is that snakes are typically very, very docile, and at best they're, they're more defensive than aggressive, okay? So, first off, guys, does anyone know what this is? I heard albino, but what else do you think it is? It's a python, that's exactly right. This is actually a leucistic ball python. So it's not really albino, it's actually what they call leucistic. Now albino is basically lacking the black pigment, okay? This is lacking all the pigment, and, and leucistic comes from a Latin word named leuco, which is white, okay? Being interactive is really important. No one really wants to be taught things, but if you can get them involved by asking questions, kind of letting them dictate where you're going with things, that always works best. Keep their attention. You don't want to lose your audience, so make sure you keep it exciting, factful, and again, ask a lot of questions. Does anyone have any idea what this is? A salamander, close, but not really. Yep, it's a gecko, right. This happens to be a leopard gecko. And these guys are from uh, Pakistan and India area, okay? What leopard geckos eat, any idea? What do you think, crickets? That's right, they'll eat any kind of bugs. Exactly, they'll eat crickets, mealworms, anything like that, roaches, and so on like that. Now, now this is actually an African spurthite tortoise. His name is Speedy, because he's so fast, as you guys can see, right? Okay. Now. The thing that's interesting about tortoises, again, we talked about defense mechanisms. What do you guys think a tortoise's defense mechanism is? How many use their shells to Exactly. They, they just can go inside the shell and take a look at Speedy here. Watch this. Get in there, Speedy. See, he can go in there and you can never get to him. He's got these really spiky spur thighs here and he can go in and you can even see the underside here. It's completely protected, right? Now, let me ask you guys, what do you think that this is made of? What kind of material? What do you think? Bone. Okay, it's similar to a bone, but actually, believe it or not, this is the same material that our fingernails. Exact same material, right? Okay, what do you guys think is in here? A boa constrictor? Let's see, I try to look. It's not a boa constrictor. What do you guys think? A monkey? Okay. <laughs> what do you guys think about this one? 
he's my buddy, as you can see. He hangs out with me all the time and he's super, super cool. Now American alligators are gonna get really large, okay? So he's still kind of a small animal. He'll eventually get maybe 10 or even 12 foot long. When I'm going around with animals, I'm always careful. Even though I might have a super tame animal, oftentimes I don't wanna get, take any risks. So I'll often hold the head towards me and let them pet the tail. Hey, listen, with the exception of sunshine, my albino Burmese python, I never wanna trust anything because we don't want negative press if something bad were to happen. Even if you have the tamest animal, still it can be kind of stressful in this type of situation. So always keep that in mind. Does anyone have an idea the only predator of alligators, what it is? Anyone have an idea? Go ahead. Tiger or lion, but they're not from that area. What do you think? Hippos, well, if they were in the area, but believe it or not, hippos and crocodiles live together pretty well. One last one, question, go ahead. Humans, humans exactly. The only predator for alligators happens to be humans. I always think the most important thing when doing an educational presentation is to have fun. Enjoy yourself. You don't want to walk in there and act like a stiff. Act like you love these animals and are just having the time of your life, because after all, this is an absolute blast. So does anyone know what this is? <laughs> what do you think that is? Iguana, that's really close. Exactly, it's a bearded dragon. <laughs> What's your name? Sarah, you're doing a great job. I'll put this on your shoulder instead, okay? Ah, oh, there you go. Now, bearded dragons, the thing that's cool about bearded dragons, as you can see, is they're really chill animals, you know? So a lot of times when I'm working around my shop, I'll just take and hang out with my bearded dragon just like this. I'll put them on my shoulder and I can walk around with them and stuff like that. Well, they don't really get angry too often, but they'll show their dominance and they'll actually puff their beard up and believe it or not, they'll bob their head. And that basically tells the other animals around them to stay away. The truth is there's one thing that I am a little bit scared of. And uh, here, who, wants to, who wants to help me out with this one? <laughs> okay, you can come up here. Okay, I want you, to, you can hold that and you can take that around and show it to everybody, okay? Should I take out the lips? You could. All right guys, so this is a, a jumping Jambian spider. It can jump up to six feet. No, no, I can't jump. It's, I'm kidding. It's, it's actually a Mexican red knee tarantula. <laughs> you can touch it. Just be very gentle. Be, be very, very gentle. All right, I need uh, five people. I'm going to take you, 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 and you. Okay, come up here. Right, come here, here. Here, here, here. Okay, guys, I want you, you guys trust me? Do you guys trust me? Oh, you guys don't know me well enough then. Okay, you guys don't know me well enough. All right, this is what I want you guys to do. I want you to look that way and I want you to close your eyes. Period, I don't want you to peek. No, clo close your eyes. Are they closing their eyes? Yeah. All right, make sure that they keep their eyes closed. I don't want anybody. To, oh. Okay, guys, hold your arm out. Hold your arms out. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, this, this is an albino Burmese python. Her name is Sunshine. She's been around, she's been around kids her entire life and she's the tamest animal that I have and you never have to worry about Sunshine ever doing anything to anybody. Although I think it's important to always be very careful when trusting animals around anybody, the fact is Sunshine has been around kids since she was a baby. She has never tried to bite anyone. She is the only animal that I completely, fully trust when it comes to letting kids kind of have a good time. And as you can see, they're running around this school showing other kids this awesome animal. This is a great ambassador to get people to start loving reptiles.
So guys, I had an awesome time teaching all these amazing kids about reptiles. And as you can see, they're a great group and they just love it so much. I really encourage you guys to get out and try to do something similar. Whether you have one snake or 50 snakes, get out there and teach people how amazing these animals are. And as always, I was Facebooking and tweeting my way through it. So make sure to follow me over at Snake Bites TV and on Instagram at snakebites.tv. Until next week, you've been watching Snake Bites. What do you guys say? Yeah! <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Birch, an Aussie bloke who loves wildlife. My respect for nature started when I was a young boy in rural New South Wales. Since then, it's exploded into an obsession. New episodes every Thursday, only on Animal Bites TV.